Hello there, here's a White Scrap Wednesday idea. Alrighty, I've got some two inch squares here and I'm just playing around with them with some white strips. And I'm doing some cross weaving and this one I doubled up. And so it did used, because I have just a couple, I've got four more of real, real skinny, skinny ones. They're about an eighth of an inch wide. So I've just crossed those over. So I want to trim these. Actually, I want to finish gluing them first, but I guess I can trim this off. There. And then I can come over here and I can finish gluing these on. those ones off and they make these pretty little woven embellishments that you can use on your cards or in your scrapbooks or in your journals you can add you can use them as is or you can put something on them like perhaps a small little image a little flower some punched out images or shapes, flowers, leaves, little animals. Perhaps you could just line up some gems on them. That would be pretty too. All right, so here's the doubles. Isn't that pretty? And again, I'm in a little two inch square. All right, here's another two inch square. I think these should be just long enough to do another one. And that's gonna be a little tough, but I'm gonna try it anyway, so let's do it. Okay, I'll, I'll do one while you're watching. All right, so we line up two, going this way, and two, going this way. All right, we'll go ahead and glue these down. And glue this one down. And just put them side by side by side with a little bit of space in between okay then go ahead and line these ones up we can do the same thing once I get these two glued down then I'll hold it up so you can see and again I'm just eyeballing it I'm not worried about if they line up or anything or if they're exactly the same as the other ones there okay so this is what those two rows look like so now I'm going to take two more and I'm going to weave them these two will go under these and over these and then these two will go over these and under these so let's do these two first so this is going to go under and under and since I've already glued this down, it makes it easy to go ahead and put glue on the tips here. And then I can turn it over and I can pull them on through. There's one. Whoops, you stay there. There. And here's the other one. Perfect, make sure they're lined up. All right, and then these ones need to go and be glued on the, this side, so they need to go under here. So let's take those and slide them under here. And then we'll let them hang out a little bit so we can get glue on them. Then we can slide them in. All right, lay them down. Alrighty, and then we can pick that up and slide it under. Pick that up and slide it under. There. Alright, now we can go ahead and glue 
the other edges under. So we can do under here, under there, turn it around, make sure this is glued under here, and under here. There, under here, under here, all right, and then under these two, under here, and under here. Voila, press those all down, turn it over, give it a little good back rub, then we can trim off the excess. Did I miss glue on those ones down? Perhaps I did. All righty, glue under there and under here. Trim off the other side first, then trim off this side. And there we go. Now we've got two that are like that. Isn't that neat looking? All right, so now we're done with these little bits and pieces. So now let's go ahead and do two singles. So here's four. And all I'm going to do is just go over and under. There we go. Just like so. So we're just going to do two going across. Here. I should do it slower so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so do two going across. So I'll do this one and this one. And then one of these goes under the top one and over the bottom one. And the other one goes under the bottom one and over the top one. And then we glue them in place. Alrighty, so it's a lot easier if you take the two that are gonna go on the same side and put glue on them. Go ahead and put them on. There's that one, and there's that one, and this, and we're just making a tic-tac-toe board. If you look at this, that's what it looks like, a tic-tac-toe board. We're gonna do the same thing with this. And the, we're doing the same exact thing with this one as this one, except for we're doing two strips instead of one strip. Okay, so we've got them going sideways, so one of these has to go under the top, like so. And then we can go ahead and put the glue on. And press that down and then one goes under the bottom one and we'll put the glue on make sure they stay straight that's the biggest thing is you want them to be straight as you can get them all right there then we can go ahead and we can glue down the other four ends. So there's glue there, there's glue there, glue that one, and glue this one. There we go. We've got a little tic-tac-toe board going on. I think I got them all glued down. Yep. Then we can just trim them off. And there should be enough to do another one. Alrighty, so that one's all done. Isn't that neat? Okay, so there's enough to do another one. I think this one's long enough. If not, I've got another piece. Oh yes, that's perfectly long enough, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this one down. And make sure that's straight. Glue this one down. Make sure that's straight. Okay, one goes over and one goes under. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue on first and we'll see if that's easier to do. Sometimes it is. If I lift this, then I can go under here and this can go on there. And then this one, we can put the glue on the other end. And we can lift this one up and attach this one over here. That was a lot easier to do it that way, okay. And then we can just glue down the other three 
ends. There's one, there's two, three, whoops, I guess it was four ends, okay. And whoops, go straight. There you go, and one more. There you go. And then we just have to trim off the excess pieces. I was going to say, I, I know I counted four times. There. All right, so now we've got two singles. So here's a single and here's a double. But they're both tic-tac-toes. Isn't that neat? So little two-inch squares. So now you can put a word on there. You can put anything on it to make it into an embellished embellishment. So, or you can just line them up like this. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and put these opposite each other and these opposite each other and put that on and make a card. That would make a pretty nifty looking card if you ask me. Let me lift this up and see if I can hold it still without knocking it out of the way. Isn't that a neat, for, neat idea for background? That's pretty cool. So, or you can do just two. Just two on there. And then you can stamp something in either corner. You could always cut them in half, cut them in half and do all four corners, make corners out of them. So, what ideas are going through your mind? You'll have to share with me while I'm making these. That's pretty neat. All right, let's see. You could do four of all the same. You can even add colors in with this too. You could do color strips. So, but I'm doing this for my white strip Wednesday. I think that looks really neat though. All right, now, well this, I had a piece of gold over here. Yes, how wide is that? That's not quite wide enough. That's not either. All right, so let's see. Hmm. So I'm thinking we could put these together. Let me trim these bit closer now that they're dry there that's better if you're gonna do the same ones right next to each other though you want to make sure that you're they're both lined up the same because otherwise your lines will be off and that might look kind of funky you don't want them funky or maybe you do you never know All right, perfect. There, all right. So now, let's see, what am I gonna do with these? I'm thinking we could put just a simple word on them. Oh, let's see. Like thinking of you. So see, you could just put a thinking of you. That's very simple on it. That would make it a really cute embellishment, especially if you line this, if you back this with a color and back this with a color, that would be really pretty. So imagine pink, I've got pink here. Imagine putting pink on it and then having pink behind it. That would be pretty. Line that up and then cut this out. That would be really pretty. So you can make turn these into any color that you want with just a simple little word or verse on there. You could use stickers. I've got heart stickers. These would be fun. Just put a sticker in the middle of each one. That would be a lot of fun. Let's see, a flower in the middle of each one. That would be pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. Black and blue, woohoo. That would be pretty. So there's so many different things you can do with these. I think, I don't know, I think I just kind of like them like they are right now until I'm ready to actually use them and then I'll figure it out for me. Because I like these as an embellishment, just a little plain white embellishment. I think that's really pretty. and That's really cool with the flower on there. I do really like the flower. You could also put a little flower in each corner. Oh, that would be adorable. Where's my wee little flowers? 
I bet that would be really cute. Or <laughs> better yet, go ahead and do a tic-tac-toe. That would be funny. Blue, blue, and blue. Tic-tac-toe. That's cute. Isn't that fun? So you could even do that. Or the other thing I was picturing is something like this. Let's see, do I have, okay, I have to put one in the, in the middle of each of these. Oops, there's two. Here's another purple. I need another purple one. Come on, purple. There you are. That's really pretty. I love that one. Oh my goodness. I like that. So see, there's so many little things that you can do with this. That would be, you could do it all just monochromatic, add light and dark purples, light and dark blues. That would be so pretty. Alrighty, so there's my White Wednesday idea for you. I hope you'll like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.